Steve, how delighted are you with that result? Well, I think the, I think there was nothing in the game, in all honesty. I'm not going to say what people said in the Czech trade that the beat is easy and all that stuff. We'll say nothing. We're just we've come, we've we've won at a difficult venue. We have enormous respect for the players that we played against, and um, we've worked really hard. And I think, if I'm being honest, the only quality in the whole game, from Hayden's run, his cross, and Danny Rose on the end of it, that's the only quality in the whole game for me. But it was two teams that that battled really hard, and we knew the first thing we had to do for since for way back that if you have to get a result against Lincoln you have to work as hard as them and you have to be as physical as them because that's how they play and it's difficult to play against a team that go along every minute of every game and and it's and it's tough but I commend them because they find a way to win games and that's always commendable. You did today as well was it a victory of resilience? Well it was a we, I questioned the boys character in midweek about about you know never walking hard but um, standing up to aggressive sides and Gareth Sainsworth takes enormous pride in my office with a glass of wine afterwards on Tuesday saying they are an aggressive side and we, we knew that we had two of them in four or five days we had, we're coming we had Lincoln today so we had to stand up to that and that's the bit that pleases me because I, I probably questioned that more to myself when I went home on Tuesday but I questioned the boys Thursday and Friday but they, they stood up to it and you know I commended my players no one else we take you know, you didn't see us go into celebrations in the tunnel or anything like that. We clapped to our supporters because they've had a couple of rough away days, like Accrington, losing late on. And we're into your dressing room nice and quietly, and you can probably hear a pin drop in your dressing room because that's what happens when you work hard. And what words do you have for the match winner, Danny Rose? Well, Danny's a good player, and I said, I was the one that said at the start of the season, if he, he could get 20 goals, and he, he's going to play a part, but... He knows that he knows he sits in my office and he, he knows the quality of the competition. And I said to him in the week, just be patient. And um, you can ask him, you ask the goal scorer afterwards what I said. I told him it. I told him before the game he'd win as the game today. I said, because you're coming on to play a part at a, at a time in the game when we'll need Danny Rose on the pitch. And um, and it's brilliant when your dressing room hears you say that and then he does it. You're starting to get an unbeaten run going now. How much does that please you? No, I'm not interested in runs and unbeatens. Um, I just want to every week turn up, get to a train station, get three bags of coal and go home. And um, we've turned up today, we've got three bags. We got three bags last Saturday, one in a week because, you know, we didn't walk hard enough to load the load the, the engine and the train. So, but we walked hard enough today. I have to say we were backed with magnificent supporters. Let me let me say as it isn't. It's easy when you've lost to, you know, but we've won here today. This is a fantastic football club who are on a real surge upwards with fantastic supporters. My, my daughter goes to university in this city. She loves it. She speaks warmly about the people. I've got friends in it, and this was a real tough away day for us. We we take nothing away from that. You know, we don't wish they're a local rival, so we don't wish them well. But they they support a good club, and the atmosphere at times today was was fantastic, especially for League Two. What gives you most satisfaction about this latest victory? Just just scoring one more goal than them, because that's what ultimately football comes down to. And people can play with comments about referees the day before the game. We can listen to them and be slightly annoyed, but we have to accept it. Um, I thought there was I thought there was three good teams out there the other day that gave their all. Um, I thought the referee and his officials were strong, and that's all we asked them. And I thought the um, and he's, he's listen. I said that about a couple of referees that have ended up in the Premier League. Robert Jones, I'm, not, I'm again now for saying this, we went up in the top level. Um, and and I think Lincoln City will be in that top six or seven at the end of the season without a shadow of a doubt. So that tells you how well we've done today. Well done today, Steve Evans, thank you. Thank you.